I'm joined by Paul to start too, Paddy. At the start of the year, every team's goal is to reach the county final, that's for a year. Yeah, I suppose at the start of the year, I suppose both ourselves and St. Cairns know only they give us a chance to win the county final. We actually did the bit at the start of the year, none of us win the top 16. And I suppose even the semi finals, both of us were written off. And uh, I suppose this, this is the way it goes in, in sports, you don't know. Both of us in the final, and that's where we are at the moment. And you started off with two successful wins and then a loss. Did that loss kind of regroup you, and it's been on uh, three wins and trot since? Uh, not really, no. But, like, we take every game as it comes, and we had a loss with two wins, as you say, but we had a loss, and things didn't go right on the day. And even before the match, we were, we'd have been a problem. We'd have trouble there, with trying to get Leds off work and that, and we couldn't get the match put back an hour. And look, we lost, but next game was up, and that was it. And the boys dug in again, and we won the next two, and luckily, we got out of the group. And you said you were outside the betting at the start of the year. When you got into quarterfinals, were you still kind of seen as outsiders, or were there, was the belief starting to grow in the camp? I know. I suppose. Look, for the last couple of years, they were finding it hard to get out of the group, and with this new format last year, and the, with the twenty-four teams in it, we were still rank outsiders. I suppose in the quarterfinals, um, see that all the lads in the social media, even they were, they gave us no chance against Barry Brown. They gave us no chance against St Pets, and. Look, as I say, we're in the final. We defy the odds, maybe there, but hopefully, look, bit of luck with us, and might keep going next step. And on that same pass came there, Patrick. Like a real hard fought game. He really came from nowhere at the end. What, what was the difference in the last ten minutes, Wilsa? I suppose work great and determination to kind of win. We kind of knew from the first quarter we were kind of we stuck with him. Second and third quarter, then we kind of dropped off, and we kind of said, "Come on, lads, we need to push on a small bit here." I suppose. They kind of dropped off a small bit and we kind of pushed on from there and we were looking up to get a goal and a couple of points and on the trot and they kind of dropped ahead and we just drove on and we finished strong. And what does a win like that coming from behind that on do for your confidence levels going into the final? Oh, brilliant. Like it's, I suppose no team ever wants to be in that position but when you get there, work hard and come out of it, sure, you're all the better for it and we'll use that momentum now going into the final. And you're playing St. Kieran's probably a side like yourselves that wouldn't have been given a chance to start. You obviously know the threat that they'll pose. Yeah, sure. I suppose it doesn't matter who's playing who. If you work hard in the day and if you kind of back yourself, it's all, it's all about hard work, hard work and work rate. And at the end of the day, sure, that's all we can do. And how has training been going in the last few weeks? There's obviously a buzz in your step like. Yeah, it's been good. It's been tough, but uh, it's been enjoyable. The lads know what they have to do. Our trainers aim in. It's very good, so we're not kind of getting involved in all the hype that's going around. We're trying to keep our heads down, work hard, and that's what we've been doing. My parents, the lads, are putting in the effort like a training, so we can't ask any more from really. And Paddy, you probably yourselves as a club feel like you deserve to be intermediate after being there for so long. So what would it mean to get back up there? Well, it would be huge for the club because a lot of young lads come in, we'll say, from under sevens right up to, we'll say, under 17s, under 19s, and get a couple of players every year. And on to we'll say the adult panel, it'd be a huge thing for Caroline to get back up. Um, people think that Caroline Caracanish have a huge big area, but we have a big parish and a lot of houses, and it puts an awful lot of young kids in it. And like Patrick here is not not very old, but he's one of the old players in the team now, and he's still at the right side of thirty. So, like we're a young team coming, and to be huge for the boys to get up, and hopefully, um, like a bit of momentum as Paddy says there. Keep it going, and if we can, if we get 